What's up guys, P Team here, and today we're going to show you uh, one of the strategies to get bloodthirsties with your knife. And I'm playing Ground War Safeguard here, which is a pretty good mode. And you'll see you can sneak up behind people pretty good. Um, obviously you're going you're gonna to get some spots where it's great, and some spots where it's not so great. So look, I got four kills already right there. This is, uh, they're escorting the robot here, which is a pretty good time. And evac's really great because there's hallways. You don't have to run from one side to the other to kind of get in the middle. You know, like Nuketown, you have to go all the way to the other side to, to get anywhere. Um, evac's great because you could literally just get right in the middle after you spawn. Um, you'll see that uh, Sixth Sense and Tracker, Sixth Sense really helps me in this game. You're going to see uh, when there's enemies just about to come in the hallway, and it, it really helps a lot. Also, I had a buddy uh, in this video, Swift, helping me kind of baiting him, them into the hallways for me. I had a, so you can see my Sixth Sense going off there. Um, so yeah, Sixth Sense is really good. Uh, hardware is pretty good too. That's going to help you in a lot of situations. And really you just have to camp doorways, especially in a, in a game mode like Safeguard where they're trying to help the robot a lot. Um, it really, it really, that's probably your best strategy. Just camp these doorways. I know it's, uh, you know, it's a little bit shady or whatever, but, um, See, look, so what you see is there, I just got my, my Bloodthirsty, and then I got another one. So I'm actually on a six streak here. And here's a little tip is you do not have to die in between your Bloodthirsties. Um, so I'm actually, even though I got a Bloodthirsty there, I'm on my second Bloodthirsty here in one life. So you see I kind of got some other guys distracting people in the hallway here. And they're like running in trying to get them. Um, so there, I'm on a seven streak there. And, and I'm just waiting, just waiting. There's eight. And as you've seen earlier, I like to move positions a little bit. It just depends. Sometimes I'll stay right here. Sometimes I move. So, yep. So, there's a nine. Oh, there's one guy in there, so I had to back off. So, six cents has really helped me. A couple of these other guys are great distractions, too, um, because it's not just me. You know, they're worried about the other people there, too. Um, you know, I would suggest moving to the other side of that little doorway there, too, sometimes. Um, you'll see I do it here at the end, but you know it's hard because you gotta jump, you gotta jump sides. So look, they're right there, and see that other guy coming through. He, he kind of stole my kill there, but um, you know they work as a distraction, so you're not the only one that's there. So then I'm just waiting, just being patient. So there's a guy right there. Oh, there he is, ran right through him. Nice. So there you go, dark matter on a merciless. Um, I suggest saving your knife for last because it's it's very satisfying. So now I'm on the other side, and you'll see people come through, and they're trying to they look they're looking for me on the other side. Um, so that's a that's a pretty good strategy. I actually got a care package there on safeguard with the knife. That's pretty good. You actually should be running like UAV care package and like probably counter UAV because you know you're not gonna go on massive streaks with the knife. Um, I got Cerberus on here. I don't even know why, but. Um, those would probably be your three most, you know, obviously you're not getting a lot of score streaks with the knife, that's just how it is. Um, another thing too is um, make sure you don't have any clan tags or kill counters on your knife um, because that will mess up your bloodthirsties and your kills. Um, I also chose not to have any camo on it at all um, because some people have reported that it may give you problems. So just keep that in mind. So if you don't want to have any problems, just go with the stock knife with no, with no camels on it at all, and that'll save you some headache. Um, you know. So the perks I like to run, I like to run Ghost and Flak Jacket. Um, Six Sense. Actually, I think Six Sense is a is a first perk. So you have to choose between Ghost and Flak Jacket, but Six Sense is definitely uh, the most important one. Um, I like to run hardwired. Hardwired's pretty good, and tracker. Tracker actually helps a lot too. Um, and then your your last perk, you know, dead silence is is great, and awareness is great. But on a, on a really busy map like this, look at this guy's camping for me, and I still got him. You know, right now I'm, I'm choosing tech mass, and you see it actually helped me a couple of times with a couple of stuns. Um, and I'm running two flashbangs. You know, the dead silence awareness thing. I only think that um, that helps when you're in quiet situations and stuff. And, and if you're camping doorways, you don't really have to worry about that. You know, with a good headset, you can hear people anyways. So just keep that in mind. You know, dead silence awareness is definitely a good combo. Um, I just chose not to use it. 
you know, I tried it a couple of times, but it, it didn't seem like it, it made the, the world of difference. So, yeah, you're going to have times where you swipe with the knife at that and just miss. But you can see I'm getting a good amount of kills. This is a great map for just patrol in the middle. And, and, and honestly, that's where you want to be. You can sneak up on people really good, you know, with the knife. So um, EVAC, I think, is one of your best maps. Safeguard is a great mode um, for doing that. Um, because a lot of people are concentrated on the robot. You can sneak up on people when they have, like, rocket launchers out there and stuff like that. Um, it's a really good time. So there you go. Finish 31 and 19. Uh, with a knife on a merciless um, to get dark matter. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments on how to, you know, to help with getting your your merciless or your uh, bloodthirsties with the knife, uh, leave it in the comments below. And there you go. We got dark matter. Uh, it was definitely a grind, um, but I'm happy to have it. You know, and it's a great accomplishment because once you get it, you'll always have it. So there you go, guys. Uh, and I'll check you and I'll catch you on my next video. Make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace.